Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. I know you came from heaven above. The Holy Spirit lives in my heart. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. I know you came from heaven above. The Holy Spirit lives in my heart. Lord, to me. 
You are the one who was, you are the one who is, you are the one who is to come. Our Redeemer, King Smash. You are the faithful Father you are. You are awesome Daddy you are. You are not adore you. The angels bow before you. Oh, good morning, Jesus. Good morning, our dear Lord Jesus. Daddy God, good morning. Blessed be the name of the Most High God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, sweet Daddy God Almighty. Thank you, Lord. For bringing us, O Lord God Almighty, the fifth hour. Thank you, Lord. For building up to us, O Lord God Almighty, Lord. An investment of your grace and your mercy. Yes, Lord. Father, we are grateful in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for what you are doing in our lives as individuals. Thank you, Lord. Lord God Almighty, Lord, we are crying out to you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Strength in us, Lord, to press on with you to the finishing line. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We ask for your mercy, Lord. Let your mercy, Lord, prevail, O Lord, over every accusation of the enemy. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, sweet Daddy God. Thank you, Lord. Take over your sons and your daughters. You, Take over the entire families over there. Thank you, Lord. Let our lives, O Lord God Almighty, be indeed a glorious life Amen. that you can inhabit. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, sweet Daddy God. Thank you, Lord. Continue to sit on me and wrap yourself around me, Lord. Amen. And my life, O Lord God Almighty, just be your Lord. For the Lord, a robot in your hand. Amen. Let me just be a puppet in your hand. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, sweet Daddy God. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to your holy name. Hallelujah. Let us all the networks, all the airwaves that your hands, Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, take preeminence, Lord. Amen. Take control, Lord. Amen. And just glorify your name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sweet Daddy God. Thank you, Lord. We love you, Dad. We love you, Lord. Prepare us for your coming. Amen. Any time, oh Lord, you want to come, even now, let us, Lord, be ready for you. Amen. Let none of us be found wanting, Lord. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Glory Lord. be to your holy name. Hallelujah. In Jesus Christ, unchallengeable name, we are prayed. Amen. amen. And amen. 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 Shalom morning, shalom afternoon, shalom evening, family. We are all welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. By the grace of God, we are here again for the five hours cry. Hallelujah. Amen. We are building, Amen. and the Lord is faithful. Amen. Lord God Almighty said, It is time for us to receive freshness yes, in the morning cry. Amen. When we look at the book of Lamentation, chapter 3. 22 and 23. Lamentations 3, 22 and 23. Now, Father, we give you Lamentations chapter 2, 22 and 23. Chapter 3? Chapter 3, 22 and 23. Yes. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. Yes. Because His compassions fail not. Yes. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Child Amen. of God, the compassions of the Lord will not fail. Amen. Amen. He's a faithful father. And that is why every morning he's looking forward to hearing our voices. Amen. God loves voices in the morning Amen. to praise him. Amen. Look at Psalm 5, verse 3. He's a God of the morning. He's a father of the morning. Amen. His mercies are fresh 
in the morning. Amen. Yes, Psalm 5 verse 3. Yes. My voice shall thou hear in the morning. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, in the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee and will look up. Amen. Child of God, God Almighty said, in the morning time is when our voices should rise to the Lord. Amen. And then we will look up for direction yes, to hear his voice. Yes. The morning time is a very crucial time. That was why it was the lifestyle of our Lord Jesus while he was here. Look at it in the book of Mark 1.35. It was a lifestyle. It was his character. And we are to be like our Jesus. That's right. What does he say? Mark chapter 1 verse 35. Yes. And in the morning, rising up a great while before day, yes. he went out and departed into a solitary place and there prayed. Amen. He was alone. Child of God, the morning time is another time for Gaga. Yes, yeah. Bible says, my voice, not our voices. Yes. Because some people, when they are having maybe morning devotion, they do not open their mouths. They say, let others sing. Let others be the ones to pray. And they'll be shouting, Amen. They do it some in, in, the, in Nigeria. And they'll be shouting, what God cannot do does not exist. Child of God, your individual voice is more important to God than a whole crowd of multitude of voices. And I will look up. God is expecting us to take the morning time as a very special time Amen. of seeking Him, of looking for Him. And we will find Him. Amen. Because He says that His compassions do not fail. His mercies are fresh. They are new every morning. Because the morning time means freedom from darkness. Amen. The morning time means exposure to light. Amen. It is a time that we should be enlightened in the knowledge of our daddy God. Amen. And God Almighty will preserve us. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Child of God, there is a statement that I always look at and I shudder. That statement is in the book of John chapter 13 verse 7 that Jesus made to his disciples. That statement is very loaded because it's what this EMN 7 is all about. Yes, what does that statement say that Jesus said? John 13 verse 7. Uh -huh. Jesus answered and said unto him, uh -huh. What I do, thou knowest not now, Yes. but thou shalt know hereafter. Child of God, when God calls us to do something, we may not understand. It may look like a stress. It may look as if, what is the meaning of this? Because when God asks you to do something, it doesn't relate to what is happening at a particular point in time. Yes. And so he said, right now you do not understand. You don't know. But later, hereafter, you will understand. Yes. I want to thank God for everyone that believes that the Lord said, come 21 hours. Amen. You will know later. Amen. You will understand later. Amen. There are little, little signs already. The world is upside down. The world is scattered. Presidents are leaving their seats. Hey, Kalabo There's all manner of disaster. People that are hoping on presidents, they are not crying. They are regretting. Why? Because their hope was in a president. Ah. I have a president of presidents who I put my hope in, who will never fail. I continue to stand with him. He's an all season God. An all time father, yes, child of God, beware of having hope in this world. The Bible says they are for miserable people. Lord is calling us to begin to come apart and trust Him that He knows what He's doing. Because God said this is five hours' grind, and five represents the grace and mercy of God. Hallelujah. Five represents five fingers per hand. Five toes per foot. Five senses of sight, of smell, of taste, of hearing, of touch. The Lord wants to sensitize us this morning. Sensitize us to his presence. Because God Almighty said, I am looking for people that take me serious. Child of God, the relationship with God is people that take God serious. That's the only way you know you're a Christian. If you want to know that you're a Christian, you are the type that take God serious. Casual people are not Christians. People
people who take God for a ride, they are not Christians. Christians are those that whatever God says, they are serious. The Bible says, he that trembleth at my word. They walk out their salvation with fear and trembling. They don't assume. They don't hope on their position in church. They don't hope on their gifts and talent. They don't hope on what they have achieved in this world. Their hope is in God. They have faith in God's word. They tremble at God. They fear God. It is called the fear of God. God Almighty is calling us to know that today, the fifth hour, this morning cry is to sensitize our spirits. Amen. Amen. So that we don't be traveling. Child of God, many Christians are traveling in their mind. They are now focused. How can you hear God? You might even remember him in the morning. You'll be terrorized. You have all manner of fears. The Lord God Almighty said, it is time for us to follow his way. Amen. I am an EM night. I am an EM night. night. God is training me to be sensitive to him morning, noon, and evening to complete the day. God Almighty loves us. He cares for us. And that is why his grace and mercy are being released to us today. This morning. Child of God, we are not going to die with fasting. Let us stay with God. Amen. Let us tarry with the Lord. Amen. Because by the mercy of God, we have a noon again today, which is a six-hour cry. Then we have evening by 5 p.m. today for the seventh-hour cry unto the Lord. Amen. God Almighty is calling us to be serious. Say, I will be serious. I will be serious. I will not take the Lord for a ride. I will not take the Lord for in a ride. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Remember we are in the days of Noah. When people are having all manner of fun. I want to tell you a secret, child of God. If you think that money will be scarce in these last days, it's a lie. Money will be everywhere. The enemy will ensure that there's prosperity. People are going to have money. Hey, Kalabuko something. Can't you see that they're already doing Miracle alerts. People are looking for money. And they will get it. What you seek, you will find. I am seeking God. So I will find God. I am seeking God. Those who are seeking money, they will find it. Why? God said they will be eating and drinking. It's not for the poor. God said they will be giving away in marriage. And people will be taking in marriage. It's not for the poor. God is calling us to seek him. In the morning, dedicate your heart to God. God will speak to you when you are seeking Him. It's not a special prayer point, like one of my daughters was telling me, Mommy, pray for me, let God be talking to me. I want to hear God's voice. You cannot hear His voice audibly. You will die. You will faint. His voice is like thunder. Can you hear it? God said, My voice is in my word. And I like to come into my children a still small voice. And it's not the thunder voice for the enemy. Don't look for God's thunder. Look for that still small voice inside your spirit. Pick it from the word. Rather cry to him to fill you with the Holy Spirit. The spirit that searches the deep things of God. The Lord is calling us this morning. It is time to come apart and receive the grace Amen. to press on. Amen. Receive his mercy. Amen. Receive sensitivity in the spirit. Amen. To know when you say, go here, Amen. sit here, don't move. That is what God will give us this morning. Amen. So I receive sensitivity in the spirit. I receive sensitivity. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm going to take our prayer song before we begin to go to the place of prayer this morning and begin to seek our daddy God. Our prayer song is from the book of Psalm 55, 22, 16, and 17. Oh, Dalagali Brago Sotaya. Cast thy burden. Upon the Lord, and He shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. As for me, I will call upon God. And the
In the morning, this song, he sings this song to the Lord. Oh, the Lord of the give ears to my words, O Lord. Oh, consider my meditation.
for short to a prayer. Let the voice and chant for short to a prayer. Mighty day we are praying in the and lift your voice to the Lord and say, Father, Father I am sorry when I didn't take you serious. I, I, sorry when I, didn't didn't take serious. You I took your grace and mercy for granted. I said, I said, I said, Lord, I repent this morning, oh God. I, I am sorry, Lord. I'm sorry, Lord. Lift your voice and ask God for mercy. I, I, said, I took your mercy for granted. I didn't take you serious, oh Lord. I was choking, oh God. For every morning devotion, any family without a morning altar, you have lost the mercy of God. Beware of saying we don't have time in the morning. We pray in the night. So look at Matthew 27, verse 1. The morning time is the morning where enemies hold meeting to destroy. Look at Matthew 27, verse number 1. Matthew 27, verse 1. Yes. When the morning was come, yes. all the chief priests and elders of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. Child of God, in the morning, people hold meeting. Yes. There are people that are above you. There are council people. There are elders. Here, can I tell you? They take counsel. They hold meeting on how to kill people, on how to undo people, on how to sack people, on how to poison people. The morning time is meeting time. You thought it was in the night. A good day, I can live. I can soldier. But Psalm 55, verse 10 tells us it is a day and night affair. I can live. I can soldier. I can in the morning, every family today, Kalama Kosotia, on this prayer altar, you are going to dedicate a family order to the Lord. Every family order that the fire has gone down, God is going to release fire upon the prayer altar. Lift your voice to God and cry to God. Father, in my family, restore my family altar. And lo, a voice from 
now and say yes, this is my beloved son, uh -huh. whom I am well pleased. Child of God, God Almighty said he can give approval to family. Amen. Even though they are holding the cancel to destroy, the Lord said, I have a voice. Amen. You can never consult it. Don't connect to the voice that comes to me every morning. I can never consult it. They don't know him, but I know him. I can never consult it. They want to kill him, but I want him alive. Child of God, when your voice goes to God in the morning, you are right in register. It is God register. Lift your voice and pray to God. I say, Father. Can't you see that his whole family they were in the upper room? I call them for What do you think he was praying about? I got another book so there. He didn't want a stain on his testimony that his mother did not follow Jesus, that his family did not follow God. Child of God, there are things to pray in the morning. Rockin' with your family. Every time you are your family go to God, child of God, help has responsibility to monitor. Beware of children who don't want to come out for money prayer and begin to walk on them. For the devil is not going to stop anybody in your family from entering the ark of God. They're going to cry to God and say, Father. You can wake up to post your birthday picture. Yes. Why you are serious? It is a serious matter. Yes. Whether you are going to be serious with God in the place of prayer. Whether you are going to fight the devil, not to stop you in the place of prayer.
It is a sign that you are drunk with worldliness in the night. You are drunk. You are drunk with something in the night. You cannot sleep in the morning. Why? Mercy has come. Grace has come. Power has come. The glory of God has come. I will collect it. I cannot go to the other. Oh, 
it and say, Father, grant me the desire of my heart. Hey. And yet it's a destroying desire. Yeah. People are praying for you in your bed and say, May the Lord give you the desire of your heart. They are giving you demons. They are giving you poison. They are giving you serpent. For your desire is a satanic one. It is the desire of God's heart. It is his will that we are looking for. We are covetous. We are deceptive. We are wicked. Fire. Again from God. Beware of what you want to hear from God. You're going to cry to God. Now God Almighty will help you to respond to His logic, to His sensitization. You're going to cry to God as a father. I beg in the name of that God, prepare for the noonday cry. We are closing now in this morning cry, but it can continue. Because some of you, your morning is 2 a.m., is 3 a.m., is 6 a.m., in the depends on where you are. God Almighty said, don't stop when I am not you to continue. Keep on praying. Keep on seeking. After all this, they retreat. You're supposed to take a time out and spend with God. People left their jobs to pursue an aircraft to follow their president. Some of them died. Child of God. People are leaving their jobs to pursue death. Death cuts them. God Almighty said, whatever you leave for this retreat, you will understand it later. You will worship God better later. Again, I tell you, tell about, I tell the truth. Family, God Almighty said, be patient. In this 21 hours cry, the Lord said, be patient. God Almighty is going to prove that he's the one that called us for this 21 hours cry. And you are going to rejoice. You are going to celebrate. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let us say, Father, thank you. For sensitizing every point in my life. It is called pressure point. Thank you for sensitizing me. You will be active in the spirit. 